So there it is, the Sony RX100 Mark V. Alright, so I just came back uh, from work right now. I know, it's like I'm not even wearing a suit, but I went to work because they were doing like some trivia thing and they had free pizza. I don't work today, but I decided to go to the bank just for the free pizza and just to spend some time with my workers. It's, it's 12.44, I have class in about 16 minutes, like we need to get going right now. So I'll catch you guys just in a little bit. Peace. late for class. Okay, okay, so, so I got a cool question here from Muhammad Alvi, and he says, could you do a video on how you were able to get your job at TD and like give tips on succeeding in interviews and stuff? So that's a two part question that requires two answers. How did I become a financial advisor at TD Canada Trust? So I, w I wasn't just thrown into the financial advisor role. I actually started as a bank teller just last year in May. And I worked really hard as a, as a teller for a long time, for about seven months, and then I was thrown in, promoted uh, to be a financial financial advisor at the bank. I can't stress this enough, it seriously pays, I think, uh, to work really hard at what you do. And, and as simple as that sounds, that's how I got the job, is just nothing fancy, just hard work. And the next part of your question, you said, like, give tips on succeeding in interviews and stuff. Okay, so when it comes to interviews, what I do is I make sure first, out of everything else before I head over to that interview, I make sure that I know every single thing, every little detail about the company that I'm applying for. Figure out their culture, figure out what they stand for, what's their values, what's their mission, what do they want to be in the next five to ten years? Because when you go to the interview, you want to prove to the hiring manager that, hey, I'm somebody that represents the values of this company, hey, I'm somebody that represents exactly where this company wants to be in five to 10 years. And then to kind of further that point, I really think, if this is my opinion, that it really comes down to what is your value proposition. So based on your experience that you've developed over the past like couple of years, how do I bring, or how do you bring value to the team? People don't just wanna hire anybody. People wanna hire the next president. People wanna hire you know, the next CEO of a Facebook. You know, That's the type of people that these companies look for. I'm not saying that that's literally what you have to be like. I'm saying that's the type of ambition, that, that's the type of like drive that they look for. So so when you step into that door for your interview, have that ambition and, and really be proud of the experience that you bring to the table and prove to these people why you bring value. That was kind of a length, that was kind of a long answer. So that I think I'm gonna cut off here for Q&A for today. <laughs> So I'm currently at Best Buy, or I'm about to go into Best Buy right now. I don't know why I'm here. I'm either gonna come out with a drone, or I'm gonna come out with a new point and shoot. One or the other, or maybe even both. You guys, I don't want you guys to be watching my videos and think that you need all this equipment to get started. Like, you don't need anything. All you need is your phone uh, to get started with YouTube. But when you're in a position where you have the means to get, you know, other things to, you know, increase the story that you're telling, or to get more gear to kind of play into the type of story you wanna tell, by all means, go buy stuff, and th that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in there now, and we're gonna, we're gonna see what I come out with. Peace. All right, so I just got back from Best Buy, and I ended up getting a new camera. So I ended up getting the Sony RX100 Mark V point and shoot camera. This is arguably the best point and shoot camera that money can buy. Just a bunch of manuals in here. A USB charging brick. You got a USB cable. It came with some like strap thing. I don't know. This is the battery. Last but not least. So there it is, the Sony RX100 Mark V. Um, I'm super, super excited that I got this camera. It does have that nice little flip out screen there for the vlogging. It's very, very compact. Like this thing is so small and that's why I needed this. If you watched yesterday's vlog, you understand that I have been in dire need of a camera that I can put in my pocket. Like I've been in places where they just don't let me bring in big cameras or I've just been in places where having this thing here is not feasible. And, and, that, and that's kind of where this comes in. That's where the RX100 comes in that it, this is its place uh, to get those moments that I couldn't have otherwise gotten with this big camera.
camera setup over here. So to read out some of the features, this RX100 can shoot in 4K, 1080p. It has super motion, like super fast motion that you can record. I think at 960 frames per second. Like something like crazy like that. Like this is not gonna be some technical unboxing, but just know that this thing can record crazy high uh, frame rates for some nice slowdowns. I'm gonna go ahead and do a quality test right now. So in three, two, this is a quality test for the Sony RX100 Mark V. Currently just recording Brona texting. And as you can see, the autofocus is like lightning speed. Lightning speed, look at that. Damn. The only thing that I wish was that uh, it was bright outside so I can really showcase to you what this looks like in like broad daylight. So yeah, this is the Sony RX100 Mark V. Uh, would recommend you get it if you have the means.